Hey, good morning to you. It's Daybreak at iFiber One News Radio. It is November 10th, and there is a big birthday party in downtown Shelton tomorrow. I have Chris McGowan on the air with me. He's the current owner of Nita's Coffee Shop in downtown Shelton. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, Jeff, and good morning, Shelton. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, sir. And uh, we have got a big time birthday party tomorrow. And tell us a little bit about what we can expect and and tell, tell me a little bit about how you became the owner at Nita's. Well, that's kind of a long, long story that goes back to when I was just a youngster. Um, I started going to Nita's as a customer uh, many, many years ago. In fact, uh, I still remember sitting in the high chair in the back of the room. <laughs> And the high chair is still there, and I'm 39 years old now, so at least 37 years, give or take, of going to Nita's. I remember being in the back there with my uh, great grandmother, my grandmother, my mother, and myself. Wow. And so I have a long um, history with Nita's and Nita in general. And so, kind of when it came time for Nita to uh, retire, um, there was the opportunity for me to kind of step in and assist, and it turned out to be actually me buying. Uh, need us so it's a very unique opportunity yeah. it's a very unique institution yeah and i try and continue that institution for all of shelton and mason county so that people have you know a place to come to and enjoy exceptionally good food and uh come in and enjoy everyone's company so it's a great great place what are some of the long-standing traditions that you hold close to your heart that you make it a point to continue on I want it to feel when someone goes into Nita, and although Nita isn't there, I have it set up where m members of her family still cook there who learned to cook by Nita. And what people may not know all the time is that Nita was very deliberate in how she prepared her foods and how she prepared them. And so far as certain dishes go on certain plates. And so I can try my be very best to continue it that when people walk in, they're still always walking into Nita's. And so that's why we try and do our very best to maintain that high level of s service and quality that she had. So what do people say when they when they first heard that you were will be would have been buying the place? Were they concerned? And then how has your action since you've owned it kind of calmed them down? Number one, you know, as Nita aged, the consistency of her being there and the consistency um, was starting to um, somewhat slide just a little bit. Sure. And I want to say that in a, in a bad way, but I want to say that in a way that what we've tried to do, do is to continue that consistency that people come there and have the consistent experience every time they go there, the same consistent experience they had with Nita as well. I mean, she was working until what, 96, right? Yes. So you, yes. Can, you can afford her some break. Yes, every so yes, often. yeah, yeah, which is, you know, which is crazy. So yeah. what's going on uh, tomorrow? So tomorrow uh, on Saturday from noon to one, there is going to be a birthday celebration uh, for Nita. She turns 100 years old. And so from noon to one, we're going to have her down there at the restaurant. We're going to have uh, cake and ice cream and coffee. And so her friends and extended family can come down and enjoy her company there yet again. And so it's kind of going to be a pretty big deal. We're going to have balloons the whole bit. So it's going to be amazing. What a lot of fun. Yes. And uh, Nita's touched the lives of many folks, not only in Shelton Mason County, as you say, but, you know, you read some of the reviews online that people say they've come, you know, from all over the world. I just happened into Shelton. And then the next thing I know, I'm at Nita's and I've never been to a better place. And it really is, uh, is amazing. How often do you get folks coming in that either... Uh, their parents have been there or they had heard stories of Nita's or they've just heard about how great the place is. All, all the time. N Nita's been in, in Shelton since 1952. It started over here uh, between 2nd and 3rd on railroad in uh, M McConkie's far Pharmacy. Uh -huh. They call it the uh, Cabin in the Fur. And so from there, it moved across the street when Evergreen Square first started in 1957. And then when McConkie sold out on the pharmacy, it needed decided to move across the street. And so she's been in that location since 1962. So you can imagine all those generations of Sheltonians have been going to need us. So it's quite often someone's like, oh, my grandfather took me here. My great grandfather took me, me here, just like me, where it's my great grandmother took me to need us. Wow. And so it's like all the time, like, you know, you have p people now that, um, you know, a little bit older and they're saying, I remember when I was like 10 years old, sitting at the uh, counter, ha having a, a shake. And so that's still what we try and continue to 
to do. And even though a lot of Shelton is changing, there's a lot of new things going on in town, which is amazing. But I also want to have a place that people can come to and like, hey, this is Shelton. Nice time capsule. Right. Not really a time capsule per se, Jeff, but a place where people still have that same consistency. So that's what's important. What's the best thing on the menu? Oh, my gosh. I don't know where to start. It's like I <laughs> it's kind of funny. And I'll be brutally honest uh, for breakfasts forever i always had a ham and cheese omelet and i wasn't in the, the funny thing is is like i wasn't really prior to going to nita's uh, when i was a little bit older um i really wasn't big on ham and cheese omelets i wasn't big on omelets but nita just the, the, the way she did it was amazing so that's that's one of the things i really like uh the pancakes a lot of people like the pancakes uh hamburgers of course that's kind of the old staple the yeah. che cheeseburgers but yeah so there's a lot of good things on the menu Tomorrow from 12 to 1 at Nita's in downtown Shelton on Railroad. Uh, you'll definitely want to head downtown early to find a parking spot. This is going to be a big event, uh, so check it out. You can stop by and then uh, uh, see Chris and the whole gang and, and Nita and everybody 12 to 1 tomorrow in downtown Shelton. It was nice to meet you, Chris. You too, Jeff. I think Thank I have you. a feeling that we may need to get you on to talk about some other things here oh, in, goodness. in the future.